on our ways to Istanbul, in Bournemouth, on our way to Heathrow. You want to see how to pack a car? Have a gander. Sensational. Dupes, what do you think? Sensational, mate. Let's hit Heathrow. Thousand feet in the air. Drop all your thoughts, please. So, John, while we're currently in the locker room, just got the win. How are you feeling? Yeah, tough. Flight a little bit delayed. Get to the hotel around 6.15 a.m. this morning. A little over three hours sleep. Toughed them out four and four. Um, feeling a bit tired right now, but uh, satisfied. Um, yeah, have a quick look at the, the lockers. Yeah, this is the locker Real nice venue this week, actually. Yeah. Um, shower, beautiful. Uh, individual compartments this week, so we don't get to see what other players are like in the showers. Little shout out to the Reno Park lads, um, that's why we got in late last night, playing the final there. Got toughed out in the final unfortunately, but great weekend with the lads. Hello quarters. Great hotel this week, just a shame it was built for dwarves. So the showers might have individual compartments in the locker room this week, but at least we've got windows in the bathroom. <laughs> Come to um, try some Turkish cuisine tonight at the players' dinner. Day two, practice out here, beautiful day. I personally managed to get 12 hours sleep in last night, feeling good. Scott, your thoughts, please? Tough! Right, at the tournament here, nice little place to have coffee. That sort of stuff, looking out onto centre court, pretty big court this week. Scott, can you give me your thoughts please? Yeah, big court, um, big crowd as you can see as well. Yeah, Dennis Istomin currently a set on right um, now. We're on here, fourth on today, um, so just trying to get a vibe for the, for the place and for the noise level. Awesome, thank you Scott. Thank you. Here in Istanbul, um, this is the view right from, from our hotel. Very similar to Lake Como. It's actually a stone throw from Scott's room, which is one of those windows there. Beautiful hotel. This is where the players' dinner was. Um, yeah, very similar to Lake Como. Great place, great weather. Do you think we have to play where there's a lake? No. I think we have to, anywhere we go, we have to look for a lake, and that's the first, the first thing we look about. Not court surface, not weather, just if there's a lake, we go. Uh, really cool mall here, so we've decided to come shopping. Uh, Scott, you managed to find anything? No, I'm still looking for these trousers, actually. An incredible shopping centre in Istanbul. Um, here with Johnny. Johnny, have you, have you found anything that you might want to buy? I'm actually just looking for some shoes that might go with my uh, jacket that I've brought from home. So I've met this worldie in Istanbul called Connie. I think she's a little bit of a catfish. One thing you should know about Scott Clayton, he loves making new friends. So we've just been advised that the tournament venues changed this week. We're currently wandering around Izmir with no idea where we're going, Jomo. Yeah, not a clue. We've got a theme park here, and this is the closest we've come to finding a tennis court. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, we'll keep on looking. <laughs> we've decided to go on the London Eye of Izmir and, and see if we can see the courts. Thanks to the men downstairs for stopping it at, at the top so we can have a real good look of Izmir. Unfortunately, no tennis courts inside. Been walking for a strong 45 minutes now, as well as our little time on the old wheel. Little drink stop, I think, for the lads. Welcome to 
welcome to the tennis club. Found it. Practice courts here. A different venue. In the middle of a park. Pretty nice actually. Once you find it, that is. This is centre court. Again, different setup. Stands on one side. Seats here. VIP section, uh, as some would say. Lovely. Are you VIP enough to get through there? Or? Watch me go. Into the gym, Scott. Yeah, this is a gym where we get huge. Um, some retro tunes being played. What? By Hanson. Great song. Great knowledge. Um, Cheers, Scott. Players Lounge. A few little Turkish, Turkish snacks. Are you going to have one, Scott? Yeah, quite questionable, aren't they, really? Yeah. Centre from the view from the players' lounge. Magic trick for you all. As you can see, this is my wallet. Uh, no one's touched it. The 20 right now is in the crossed section. I'm not going to close it up. I'm not going to touch it. Nothing's going to happen. All of a sudden, it's not in the cross section. Hello, quarters. Another practice day here in Izmir. Lovely shirt from Scott. Nice lunch. Just about to leave the tennis club and in walks the bride, your thoughts? She's fit. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful down by the lake, beautiful sunset. Uh, obviously another lake here, so we had to come play the tournament. You know what they say. No lakey, no lighty. So day before the semi-final here in Izmir, uh, a bit of practice. We're very fortunate that a lot of top guys have given us uh, a lot of help and information. Um, one tip that they've given us is to play up the court a bit more, meaning that we're, we're in the box a little bit more. Um, but I think Johnny's taken it a little bit too far. For a while. <laughs> For a while. <laughs> For a while. <laughs> Our walk back to the hotel now. Hello, final. Here in our favourite coffee shop, the Barista Cat. Uh, we, we found it the other day, we've been in every single day. The Wi Fi is great, the coffee is sensational. We get to learn about coffee. And most of all, we get to taste coffee. John, what are your thoughts on that, please? She's even fitter. <laughs>